Okay, question three was how many significant figures are in the number 0 0.006020? Okay, so how many significant in this number? So I'm going to rewrite this number in question, which is uh, 0 0.006020. So how many significant are in this number? So there are basic uh, rules you need to understand. It. Um, all numbers which are nani zeros are significant. And the zeros in between nani zero digits are also significant. As well as zeros after the point are also significant. So in this case we are saying these numbers are significant. The ones I have underlined with a lady line, they are significant. Therefore, when you count these digits from the decimal point, which is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So in this, this number has got 6 uh, significant figures. So the 0 at the beginning is not significant and the 0 at the end is not significant. So the correct answer is 6. It has 6 significant figures. Okay, let's go to question number 4 which is find the value of negative 2 cubic plus 4 squared. Okay, so we're going to find the value of negative 2 raised to the power of 3 plus 4 raised to the power of 2. Okay, so I'm going to relate this expression, which is negative 2 less the power of 3 plus 4 less the power of 2. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to expand that. So I'm going to expand that. That means I'm going to multiply negative 3 by itself three times. So not negative 3, but negative 2 by itself three times. So I'm going to multiply negative 2 by itself three times, like this, okay? negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 plus then I'm going to multiply 4 by itself twice okay then negative 2 times negative 2 will give me positive 4 positive 4 times negative 2 will give me negative 8 now plus 4 by 4 will give me 16 now I'm going to simplify negative 8 plus 16 which will give me 8 so the correct answer in question 4 was B, okay, B which is 8. B was the correct answer and the answer was 8. Okay, let's go to question 5 which is use the, use set notation, describe the shaded legion shown in the following diagram. Okay, so this is the diagram and they want us to use set notation to describe the shaded region. Okay, now one thing you need to understand is first study the Venn diagram before you give the, an answer. So when you look at the Venn diagram, what is the Venn diagram telling you? Okay, you see that uh, set B is a subset of set A. All the members of set B are found in set A. Okay, and set A uh, is the one which is a bigger circle. Okay. So now when you look at the shaded area, this shaded area is showing members which are not, uh, showing elements which are not members of set A or set B. Okay, it, the shaded area is uh, an area where members which do not belong either in set A or set B. Okay, the shaded area is showing members which do not belong in neither a no b therefore we can say the shaded area is a union b complement a union b complement and the correct answer is a not b but what a not b but a okay not b but a so the correct answer is a union b complement a union B complement, which is A. That is the correct answer. Okay, now let's go to question 6. 